I will be talking about sustainable development goal uh, number 14. It can be seen perhaps on the surface as a challenging goal for business to make sense of or business school students to make sense of but actually I hope to be able to show that there are a lot of linkages to uh, business activity and also relevance for business school uh, students to engage and understand deeper the meaning of the Sustainable Development Goal, its targets and its uh, indicators. Uh, globally, the um, marine and coastal resources uh, are very important for industry. It has been estimated that three trillion dollars uh, or about five percent of the global GDP can be traced uh, to mar marine ecosy ecosystems as such. And fisheries, for example, employ almost 200 million people uh, around the world. So it's a very important uh, source of economic activity. We'll be going through a little bit of what kind of challenges and perhaps also a little bit on what kind of innovative uh, activities we see around the world related uh, to SDG uh, 14. The first target says that by 2025 we should prevent and significantly reduce marine pollution of all uh, kinds. I think one example and one very striking example of the kind of marine pollution challenges that mankind faces today is the example of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch which is basically an, an island the size of Texas or large, uh, larger of plastic debris uh, floating around in the Pacific uh, Ocean. But at the same time as we see these uh, mounting challenges, we also see new innovative approaches in terms of how should we be cleaning up uh, these, these kinds of marine uh, pollution. And a very good example of this is the Dutch initiative Ocean Cleanup Foundation with its founder Boyan Slat, who has been creating an, a very innovative uh, product or, or solution of how to uh, clean up uh, these plastic uh, debris flo floating around in, in, in the sea. And we have attached some material for you uh, to, to look closer at the example of Ocean Cleanup Foundation and, and their solution. But of course, the role of business and the role of organization at large needs to be more than simply sort of reactive approaches. The, the challenge for business is really how can we create closed-loop systems, how can we create uh, follow-up in the supply chain, how can we manage the supply chain to the extent that we cut down on the plastic that, that our production causes either by end use or indeed uh, by all the, the, the plastic material that we use uh, for packaging all our, our, our product at, at large. So there is immense room for inno innovation and innovative approaches around this. And closed loop systems at large, of course, is, is a concept that is highly talked about in, in research currently and very uh, central, I would say, also in, in a business school uh, to, to understand no matter which subject uh, you, are, you are in. And then we have the, the issue of overfishing. Uh, when industrialization has reached a certain scale, we also start to see new, very effective um, sort of fishing techniques that, that were being implemented. Deep sea trawling has proven very sort of unsustainable. So the question is really also how to engage with other SDGs such as no hunger or ending hu hunger at large, when at the same time we should be very mindful of the consequences of, for example, uh, over uh, f fishing and how can we fish in, in a sustainable manner, how can we uh, regulate and, and implement regulation so that illegal practices are not being used and how can companies ensure that in their supply chain there happens no overfishing, no illegal uh, fishing as, as such. That puts a great uh, challenge to again uh, 
managing uh, the, the, the supply chain for the company.